So there's at least one local retailer in Ybor City that says thanks to a loophole in federal law, they're able to sell gummies infused with THC, specifically Delta 9 THC, and that's the stuff that can get a person high. It's supposed to be illegal in Florida if you don't have a medical card. So how are they getting away with it? Well, Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live out there to explain. And uh, I think a lot of people want to know how that's happening, Josh. I'll tell you what, it's the million dollar question, no doubt about that. And it basically is a math problem here. And as you're about to see, what they're doing essentially is taking a small amount of THC, putting it in larger size gummies, and essentially now you have what was once illegal, basically is now available to any adult that wants it. <laughs> Loopholes are great. <laughs> Carlos Hermida runs the Chillum Glass Gallery and Hemp Dispensary in Ybor City. He's recently stocked the shelves with products like these, which contain Delta 9 THC. Yes, that's the stuff that gets you high and is illegal under federal law or without a medical card in Florida. But Carlos says you don't need one here. This is a bigger, heavier gummy that can... Uh, is legal by federal law and can get you high. So how is that possible? And more importantly, how is it legal? It's basically a math problem. And here's how it adds up. It's derived from the hemp plant, not marijuana, which contains 0.3% or less Delta 9 THC on a dry weight basis. That complies with the 2018 federal farm bill. They then infuse that THC into larger size gummies and boom, there's your legal loophole. People like Delta 9 THC, people, it's the component in cannabis that they're so used to and know so well. Uh, it's a component in cannabis that, you know, has provided all those medicinal benefits in the past. Industries selling addictive drugs will stop at nothing to get their drugs out there um, with as little regulations as possible. Luke Neferados is with the organization SAM, or Smart Approaches to Marijuana. They oppose full legalization and these kinds of pot products, even questioning their legality. This is something that lawmakers need to take a hard look at. And if it's not against the laws now, they need to make sure they close that loophole because it's dangerous. Um, these kids are going to get into these products. They don't know what's in these products. Nevertheless, expect products like these to start popping up on more store shelves, just like the less potent Delta 8 already has. And it's all thanks to a legal loophole. And I'm told those gummies are already flying off the shelves as more people learn about them. But be warned, number one, you have to be over 18. Number two, you shouldn't drive or operate heavy machinery if you take them. And yeah, you will fail a drug test uh, if you take them as well. But Cynthia, it's interesting to see the lines, you know, continuing to be pushed or blurred or in some ways even crossed altogether while still staying uh, in that legal boundary. Yeah. Back to you. Somebody will always find a loophole, that's for sure. But I understand worrying about yep. kids because that 18 age, you know, you know, oh, yeah. they get around that all the yep. time too. Thank you, Josh.